Okay, year 12. This is the um, example of the induction which I promise you that you will get on video. So let me try and run through this as soon as fast as possible, but not too fast. But if you think it's too fast, replay the video. Okay, here you go. Have a look at this example here. It says, prove by mathematical induction that the sum of the first n odd numbers is, n, is equal to n squared. We saw this in class now. We made the deduction for it. I gave you some guideline about how to actually, how the principle of induction works. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you, I hope you remember the domino effect in terms of induction process. Um, so when I, when I run, when I take you through this induction process, what I'd like you to do is remember or try to relate how I, um, how I apply, how I actually do the mathematics and how the analogy I gave you in class apply to this, the steps in the induction process in mathematics. Okay, so remember the first step I told you, we have to verify that the result is true for n equal 1. So the first step, we say, let's test for n equal 1. Now if you look at that formula, uh, the, the, the statement, the theorem here, it says that the sum of 1 plus 3 plus 5, well, n equal 1, we're saying it's the first integer. So the left-hand side will be just 1. And the right-hand side yeah, is n squared. But n equal 1, so that implies that 1 squared is equal to 1. Therefore, a left-hand side is equal to right-hand side. And hence, the result's true. The result is true for n equal 1. All right, so again, take time to reflect in terms of our analogy the, the domino analogy. What have I done here? So think about that. Okay, two. You remember what is the next step in our domino analogy? Okay, so here it is in mathematics. Two, we suppose, right? We suppose that the result is true. Whoops. The result is true for uh, n equal k, where k is an integer. such that k is less than or equal to n greater than or equal to 1. All right, so we suppose that the result's true for n equal k. To be more clear, we write it out, i.e., we are supposing that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus something up to the kth integer. What's the expression for the kth integer? It should be 2k minus 1, and that should equal to k squared, and that's what we're supposing, that it's true up to the up to the kth, in, kth odd integer. So this is the kth odd integer. All right, so th again, I want you to reflect on our analogy in terms of that domino effect. What's the third step? Remember what we have to do in that analogy? In the third step, what, we're, what we need to do is we, we, we need to prove that if the result is true for n equal k, then we, we need to prove that the result will be true for n equal k plus 1. So we need to prove true for n equal to k plus 1. Okay, now in proving this true, you have to understand something. We can use step 2, which is our assumption. So here it goes. If you want to be clear, because you are, you are beginners of, um, uh, we are beginning students of, of induction, you can write what you want to prove, i.e. what we want to prove is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus etc. up to the kth integer, which is what? We saw earlier it's k plus 1. Now we're going to go to the k plus 1. That's what n equal, one mean, uh, n equal k plus 1 means. The, 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 the k plus 1 integer should be 2k plus 1. And we want to prove that that is equal to k plus 1, or squared. Okay, so this is now like a proof within a proof. We are now doing induction, so in step 3 we're going to actually do a proof for the result when n equals k plus 1. Now remember, a proof, we actually have to, we are only allowed to work on one side. So in this case here, if we look at the, the left-hand side, it's the longest, it's the one where we can play around with it a lot. 
So we start from that. Two k plus one, two k minus one plus two k minus plus one. Now we need to prove that this series is actually will, will actually simplify to just k plus one all squared. All right. Now from if you look at this carefully, this the the sum for the first k odd integers that has been assumed to be true equal to k squared from our assumption. Okay? So that is equal to k squared from our assumption. And I'm going to put a reason here. It's from our assumption. Now, if you look at that expression now, that is clearly a perfect square of k, uh, of k plus 1 or of k plus 1. So that means that we have we have um, prove what is required of us in step three, which this is equal to the right-hand side. All right, there you go. Step three is done. We prove it. So now we're saying in step three we're saying that if the result will be uh, sorry, not if the result will be true for n equal k plus one if our assumption is true. So I want you to think about the analogy I gave in class now. What at this stage, what have we done in terms of the analogy in the domino? And I want you to think about, in that analogy, after we, after we finish that part, what was the next step that we need to do? Or what are the strengths or what's the weaknesses that we, we still have to cover? Okay. Now, of course, if you have given it a good, uh, if you have taken some time and give, give a good thought about it, the next step that we need to do is that we need, uh, I mean, the weaknesses that we have here is that the this third step, which is the k plus 1 step, it is only true if our assumption step is true. So the strength of step 3 depends on the weakness of step 2, which is our assumption. But because in step 2 we only assumed it, Therefore, step three can only be true if the assumption is true. So at this point, we have to go and um, consolidate our assumption. But in consolidating our assumption, remember what I told you in terms of the anal analogy? We will use step two and step three. And we will try, we will then, uh, uh, we will use step one and step two as a recursive step to prove that step two, our assumption, is, is actually true. So to do that, this is what we're going to say. So we summarize step two and step three first. So we know that if, okay, I can say this. Therefore, we know that um, n equal n equal k plus one is true if, right, n is equal to k is true. That is the finding from step two and step three. Now, cleverly, we could use this to say, to prove step two true by saying this. If we go back to step one, we know that n equal to one is true. See? So I'm going to take k, which is this one. I'm going to take k, which is um, the assumption step. I'm going to move that assumption step back all the way to an n equal one. And we know that n equal one is true. So if n equal one is true, assuming that n equal k, and now k is equal 1. So we know that k equal 1 is true. So what can we conclude from this step step 2 and step 3? Well, if we know n equal 1 is true, then by the above conclusion, we know that we can conclude that therefore n equal to 1 plus 1, which is k plus 1 here, is true. That's based on n equal 1 being, uh, n equal k being true and k equal 1. So therefore, we know for now that n equal to 2 is true. Is that clear? All right. Now, so now we know that the first, the first has already been tested. We have just, using uh, the conclusion on step 4, we know that the second, the sum to the second integer is true as well. So now, we can clearly see that if n equal 2 is true, 
then n equal to 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3, is true, based on step 2 and step 3. Okay? Hence, and we can just say, look, and so on. Hence, we can move from 1, 2, to 3, to 4, up to k. Hence, we can conclude that n equal k result is true. Now, if the result is true for n equal k, does that mean that n equal k plus 1 is true now? Of course it is. Now, if n equal k is true, therefore n equal k plus 1 is true, can we move from n equal k all the way up to n equal n? Of course we can. We can continue this um, recursive step until we get to n equal n is true. Therefore, we can conclude yeah, that the result is true by uh, mathematical induction. All right, that's the example, and that's done. That's how we apply the induction step. This part here, you don't have to worry about it. You're going to take that off. That's just trying to illustrate to you. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, have fun doing your homework, and please submit it. I am looking at most of your homework now. Some of you should be getting your homework back soon through email. Please check it. That's it, guys.